that's good. But if they love it, then I trust them. Yeah, I mean... It feels good to them, sure. and that's what's important. That's insane. I mean, switching to, like, a different, like, a, you know, a substitute controller, sure, that happens. Someone they've never used before. A completely different controller type is really just built different, honestly. Yeah, we're going to be seeing the Sylvanos now. And they've had... Uh, I wouldn't say positive set record completely, but they have had success in the past. For sure. Penguin starting out incredibly strong, as he usually does in these games. But still has a lot of tools in this matchup that they can use. Catching apps as grounded approaches with things like Fair, even though maybe a little bit slow. Having that big disjointed character like Absa, where she only has a couple options for disjoint, apart from Cloud, of course, things like F tilt, dash attack as a as a burst option. But using that things like down tilt and fair just to wall her out is incredibly important. Especially when you have things like up air in order to catch Abs's aerial approaches. And things like C to be able to contest her when she's really, really high up without wanting to approach. Yeah, definitely. At the same time, Silva is a pretty large body who's incredibly wide. So a lot of her setups are going to be, well, a lot of his setups are going to be incredibly contested. Things like Abs's fair chains are going to be a little easier on such a large body. Of course, yeah. But tech down strong. Taking the first stock, keeping it pretty even. Yeah, Koda's getting a lot of mileage just walling out Penguin and using how as a reset option like they just did there. Really like they dropped the combo and then pressing down B, hoping Penguin will probably jump. Just kind of like a lot of crag down B usage. The same right. kind of idea there. Just using it as the anti-air tool to try and contest like a reset or maybe just hit them back up into another combo. I know Koda absolutely loves to do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're trying to howl without really any grass. Yeah, I think it was definitely a little, not really impulsive, but just like on habit. Dropping a combo, using howl to reset. I can see that as a habit. Just like that, using that up air in order to contest Penguin's up upbeat movement on stage. It's a great anti-air, even if it doesn't kill super early. It just kind of gets Penguin in the air, and extra damage against Abs is very important as she's relatively light. Right, this game is super close, but it's consistently been a slight lead for Penguin. Doesn't that would be a eye. really, really good punish there, but he they had to read the DI on that up on that chomp. For sure. Really good attempt though. Yeah, F Smash would do it. I think Peng was actionable for a second, but they just assumed they were dead. I don't blame him. Good chomps there. The Sylph Blender starting up. How's the reset there to catch Penguin jumping back up? Great cloud parry, and using these siege just off the side to try and contest Penguin going low, not needing to like actually challenge them by going deep. Oof. Getting the parry. parry there. Trying to scout out a bear, and they might die for it. Penguin's Drift is incredibly good right now to avoid these bears. Trying to stay alive as much as possible. Especially when this game's about to end. Using Seed to just contest Penguin going high instead of having a challenge. Ooh! Using that howl as a turnaround to get the bear. Incredibly smart from Cody that's, to take that game one. Yeah, that's brilliant. Taking the first game in an incredibly flashy manner. That's the Coda special. They are the flashiest player. They will go for Twitter clips and die trying. Yeah, seriously. They're very I mean, reminiscent that's, of Coda. That that's is like 90% of the reason they play in bracket. Peak Coda. That's what they, they say every look time. They cool doing it. Exactly. Every time they're just like, I'm just here to hit clips. I just want to hit clips. And there they are doing exactly the thing they set out to do. And Penguin and the character Ori? swap. We have said that this has been a, a traditionally bad player matchup for Penguin. I don't think he's confident in it if he's switching characters. The Ori is very real, though. There was a tournament back in the day, Elevate, in 2019, where he did go to, I think, Grand Finals using specifically only Ori, playing hmm. par players like me, Axmos, ZB, and a couple others in the process before having to play Sparks in Grand Finals and then switching off back to uh, so. Yeah, that tournament. Okay. It was an interesting one. It was not, like, really silly. Yeah. Yeah. Trying for it again. Yeah, a lot of Penguin's Ori, I'm pretty sure, is very, very good sign usage, a lot more just platform play. Ooh. Man, air it's a refined through. secondary for sure, though. Interesting, because like, the only time I've seen the Penguin Ori was out of Goody. Yeah, that when was he, definitely... He busted it out versus Cake in like, Winner's Finals or whatever, maybe. Was it Grants? It might have been Grants. It was Winner's. He no, wasn't it was winners, confident yeah. in the pick. It was in Winner's Finals. I think he wanted to try some things out for Forest Burn because Possibly. Cake was giving him a ton of trouble. I think Six owing him, was it at Genesis? At Genesis, it yeah, was six very dominant and for Cake. Winning just every... I'm pretty sure every set they've played the season except for like the reset and Riptide. Yeah, he's been a little or, not well, so confident. 
confident Grand with Absa recently. Trying out a couple yeah. characters to do with Forest Burn, with Cake. Sylvanos here with Coda, and then Mabel with Soul Rifle. There's been a lot of characters he's been trying out to deal with those That's players. interesting, yeah. It does hurt to say that he's not too confident in the Absa, but we gotta trust the secondaries. Mm -hmm. These players have deep pockets. And I could definitely see the story taking a yeah, game I mean, or two. It, for the most part, you know, being able to be this good of a player does require having a really good just fundamental set of skills that you definitely. can carry over to other characters. Even with more niche ones, like Sylv and, you know, even Absa to an extent kind of has some weird stuff. Yeah. Still super important to bring over those skill sets as best you can. But is looking pretty confident in this game. Penguin definitely evening it up very quick. But they had an incredibly strong lead at the beginning. Yeah. See this matchup being a little bit difficult for for Sylvanos Ooh. traditionally with that SD maybe not. Yeah. But like, I feel like it's pretty hard for Sylvanos to get in, even it's, though I mean it's yeah. It's known to be pretty tricky for Sylv. Yeah, or he's really good at kind of just threatening the space so it doesn't want you threatening. Yeah, even if you have large hitboxes like fair and down tilt, they can be a little bit laggy and Ori's incredible ground movement allows to whiff punish that just fine. Yeah. Try to jump strong, or team up up strong, gonna be taking that. Great anti air there with the up tilt to try and catch Koda trying to land with like a forward air. Yeah, oh boy. Ooh, <gasps> oh my god, Again? the same setup working out, knowing they wouldn't get that double fair. That was fair. like 40 after the hit. Koda's setups have been incredible today. Yeah. Jab three to catch them up. Fair. Real life the drift. Can't get the double mm, fair. Okay. Turn around, howl, bear, catch the 54 before the option. hit. That's. I mean, it was the blast zone, of course, but yeah, that's early. 2 0 oh, up against the first seed here at Taps. Yeah. It is very rare to see Penguin outside of the top three, let alone Grands, but like. This could be a bracket where it happens. Yeah, this is not the first time Coda's taken Penguin out. They've had success against him specifically before in the past, so I can absolutely see this taking a 3-0. Yeah. Especially with how this game 3 is going. Slightly rough the eye right there, and gotta say it, this Ooh, is looking good. Ooh, that little good. reset there, trying to catch Coda doing a panic option with the up smash. Trades with it, though. Mm. Get the little F-tilt pop up smash there. Definitely could have gotten out of that, but the setup still worked out. I have yeah. seen Penguin use uh, sign perfectly to set him into that, like jab, jab, sign, and then up smash right out of it, so it's true. Getting those confirms down is like textbook glory. For sure. I'm trying to use uh, sign taps in the combo here. Yeah, just like that, just using the up tilt to catch them in and then having sign come back for the explosion to get a setup. Things that Kusi would do. Great bash there off the side. Wow. Penguin looking confident for this game three. I think they, they want to turn things around. They want to get the rest of this. For sure. They're a confident player. They know what they're doing. Oh. Beast boost. All right. Great extension and off of that flat there. Taking last stock here. This could be Penguin's tournament stock right now. It Yeah, it is. Let's see what happens here. Double we down see the same setup? Maybe not, not if, if if Penguin DA is in like that. Right. It can be a little hard to get that perfect drift, because if you hold too hard out, you'll get double fared. And then it'll be a little bit hard for Silk to kill Ooh. off the top. <gasps> Just Angle like flipper. that. Oh my god. And Koda I takes it. Game 3-0. A clean 3-0. Just needing the Silk this time around. No character swapping. And that's the game Nothing. controller. Very just composed, confident. Koda's usually a very emotional player. Would absolutely right. pop off or something like that. Especially a win on a player of that caliber, but they just got up calmly, fist bump. They knew they they knew they had that. They felt confident. Look at that, calm, composed. Usually mm -hmm. Koda would be jumping around. She's they're a very excited player, they are, very yeah. emotional. But they just calmly got up. They they knew they had that. Mm hmm So first side of winners quarters. And So in winner's side we have Giga. And ZB. Yeah. And then losers, what is it? Koda and. Well, we uh, there's Akashi and. Um, Tapscott. And the other side loses quarters. Oh, yeah. So the. Yeah, okay. I, think it's, I think there's one more match going on here. Yeah, that, that's supposed to be Akashi and Tap. Yeah. Tapscott Akashi playing to be able to go up against Koda. This is for fifth. 